The series of events that started in 2013 eventually culminated in the establishment of Monero. Software developer Nicholas van Saperhagen wrote a white paper style essay called Crypto Note, in which he claims that the two most crucial features of electronic cash are privacy and anonymity. Several Bitcoin developers were drawn to the article and went on to build Bitcoin, the first privacy cryptocurrency. After some disagreements over features of Bitcoin, a fork known as Monero was established. While Monero, often shortened as XMR, shares several characteristics with more established cryptocurrencies, it stands out for giving privacy first priority throughout its fundamental design. With Monero, users' identities and transaction information are hidden thanks to privacy-enhancing features, in contrast to Bitcoin and Ethereum, where transactions are publicly viewable on the blockchain. With a layer of anonymity for its users, Monero's architecture purposefully hides transaction data, even though it is still an open-source blockchain. Privacy-enhancing features of Monero Monero is digital money that allows for the simultaneous hiding of transaction amounts, recipients, and senders. The primary objective of this project is to create a decentralized system that offers its transactions anonymity and privacy. These are some of the ways that this is accomplished. In plain English, ring signatures are created by grouping several users into a ring to conceal their unique identities. This makes it challenging to identify the person who created a signature by sending cryptocurrency to a different address. A ring signature is a kind of digital signature used in cryptography that can be used by any user in a group. As a result, a transaction validated by a ring signature signifies that it has been approved by a member of a certain group. A ring signature's computational impossibility ascertains which group member utilized their crypto keys to sign the transaction, which is one of its security characteristics. Everybody in a ring in the Monero ecosystem is treated equally, and it is impossible for an outsider to determine which trace belongs to your account. One way to obtain an anonymous signature from a high-ranking White House official, without disclosing which person signed the communication, is to utilize a ring signature. Ring confidential transactions, which keep transaction amounts on the network secret, were first implemented by Monero back in 2017. Multilayer linked spontaneous anonymous group signature is an enhanced variant of ring signatures. This feature adds a layer of secrecy to the Monero network and conceals the transaction value while the signature conceals the sender. All Monero senders automatically create new addresses each time they start a new transaction by using what are known as stealth addresses, which effectively hides the fund's origin and destination. A public address that truly receives payments is cryptographically connected to a stealth address. Nevertheless, only the sender and recipient are aware of this connection. The parties have a private expenditure key that is used to send payments and a private view key that shows incoming transactions. By employing the anonymous Tor and I2P networks, transactions can be started, further enhancing the anonymity of transactions made through these networks features. Check out this variation of Monero for the next feature. The Monero network is the venue for the transaction. The network of nodes that process the transaction allows one to track the sender and recipient of the money, even if Monero does not reveal this information. These nodes have IP addresses that, if made public, might be used to trace transactions back to specific individuals. Dandelion++ Plus Plus technology is useful in this situation. It conceals the node's IP addresses by acting as a smokescreen. This is the method. A transaction is first sent to a small, arbitrary group of nodes when it is started by a user. The transaction is not instantly forwarded to the rest of the network by these nodes. Rather, they pause for an indeterminate period of time. Following the delay, the nodes broadcast the transaction in an anonymous manner in addition to dummy transactions that they had generated. This makes it challenging to discern between legitimate and fraudulent transactions. The actual transaction eventually makes its way to other nodes, where it is confirmed and recorded to the blockchain. 
This technique strengthens the already strong privacy characteristics of Monero with an additional layer of security. Consensus Mechanism Monero employs a proof-of-work consensus process, just like the Bitcoin blockchain. In particular, the Randomx algorithm has been created. The reasoning for it is that investigating it calls for a less sophisticated and easier computer method. Therefore, as with Bitcoin, for example, those with ASIC technology optimized for mining won't gain a large edge. In this approach, those with less capacity can participate in Monero digging as well. The XNR token. XNR is the primary token in the Monero network. In keeping with the fundamental decentralized principles of cryptocurrencies, XMR is not governed by a single entity. It has all of the characteristics of Monero that we examined including the high degree of privacy and anonymity. Because of its robust privacy characteristics, XMR is the preferred option for many real-world applications and transactions. E-commerce is one of the primary application areas. When making online purchases, XMR is appealing due to its privacy protection features. A level of confidentiality not found in other digital currencies or conventional payment methods is offered by the token to both buyers and sellers. This is especially helpful for customers who would rather keep their purchase information private. Peers can trade money with each other using XMR. This function is especially helpful in situations where financial confidentiality is crucial or in nations with stringent economic laws. The two exchanges, Local Monero, and Steel TX are the greatest venues to buy XMR covertly. Use in prohibited activities and illicit transactions. Naturally, we can't resist making a statement on how Monero's features make using its XMR currency to settle illicit transactions easy. In order to lessen the traceability of payments made on the dark web, numerous markets have embraced Monero in recent years a portion of the internet that is purposefully concealed and inaccessible to mainstream web browsers is known as the dark web, and it is frequently used for illicit activity and anonymous communication. For instance, before to its shutdown, White House Market, one of the busiest dark web markets, urged users to convert their Bitcoin transactions to Monero transactions and eventually stopped taking Bitcoin altogether. This strategy was also implemented by other dark web markets. On dark web marketplaces, Bitcoin is still the most often utilized digital currency. Due to its popularity and rapid growth, Monero is frequently brought up in discussions on the prohibition and regulation of similar coins. To stop money laundering and prevent organized crime, major economies like South Korea and Japan have already outlawed Monero exchanges. According to allegations from 2020, cryptocurrency exchanges were urged by Australian regulators and banks to delist XMR or face losing their bank partnerships. For identical reasons, many cryptocurrency exchanges have also decided to stop supporting Monero. These exchanges include Bittrex, BitBay, and Hobi. The biggest exchange in the world, Binance, declared in the beginning of 2024 that it was taking Monero off its site. In summary, Monero is a unique project with unparalleled anonymity as a unique feature. This inexorably turns it into a target as well as an asset with enormous potential and continuous interest. Each person must determine for themselves whether they wish to use, own, and recognize the potential for future appreciation of the XMR token.